Hello guys, it is Rockstaff here today, and today I'm going to be talking about the top five most toxic mantras in Deep Oaken. But before we start, thank you for getting me to 600 subscribers. Now it's time to get to 700, so I really appreciate it if you press that button. Now let's get started. So now, for number one, we have is Rising Thunder. Like, let's just get that out the way. We all know Rising Thunder was going to be on this list. For sure. Most definitely. Of course. I like, to, I like to call the Rising Thunder the dickhead mantra, like, dickhead fuck out of here. That's what I like to call it, you know, like, it's like, oh, you out here parrying, 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 you back up a little bit, hit him with the Rising Thunder, it's like, dickhead, you know what I'm saying, like, parry, parry, dickhead, you know what I'm saying, hit you with the Rising Thunder. It's easy, man, like, it's the most, it's, bro, the success rate of landing Rising Thunder is 100%, most definitely, you know, like, if you miss a Rising Thunder, that's your problem. For sure, you know, like Rising Thunder is likes that, you feel me? For number two, we have is Lightning Strike. Now, Lightning Strike is extremely toxic. It just ruins your day, especially when it's modified, like, to make it last long forever. Oh my gosh, like, this is the worst mantra to fight against, because it's like, you can't escape it unless you parry it, but it is extremely hard to parry. Like, I've seen people suffer from this. Like it's sad, feel me? It's happened to me before. It was it was a very bad experience, like, cause you're just stuck there. And it's like, especially when you're in high ping and you can't parry it, you're just gonna be stuck there until it's over. Like, it's just to annoy you, just super toxic. Like, even though it don't do no damage, but it's like, nigga, are you serious? Why are you doing this to me? And you can't vent out of it. That's the even sad part. You really cannot vent out of it. So it's like, my nigga, you're just stuck there and you're just gonna get messed up. For third, we have is a brushel spear, whatever you say that. Brushel spear is a very toxic mantra. Like, I know everybody has lost a chime match to this, have been knocked into the storm of this, has been knocked into the void with this. You guys are extremely lucky, and I'm telling you, extremely lucky, that the void does not kill you when you are above half HP. Because if it did, Lord have mercy. So many builds will be, be wiped just because of this mantra. Because this mantra can easily, I'm talking about easily knock you into the void. Like, it's happened to me, sadly. I got sent to layer two and got hit by the wind and knocked off. Yes, all my homies hate wind. I hate the wind. And it's like, bro, with this, you can't even roll. You can't even uh, ragdoll cancel. Like, you're, you're stuck ragdoll when you're using this. Like, I know I'm not tripping. I've pressed that M2 button so many times. When I'm ragdolled, then I can never get up. I literally cannot get up. I don't know, probably they fixed that. Probably you can't press M2 now and you're good. But no, during the time when I've been hit by this, I was not able to ragdoll cancel. So like, that's another reason why it's extremely toxic. Cause it's like, it just takes away your will to do anything. For number four, we have a shadow gun. Now, why every time I fight a person that uses shadow gun, I'm behind you and I'm still getting hit, for what reason? I can be 30 feet away from you, I'm still getting hit. Like, back in old d book, it was way worse, but it's still, it's still painful to fight. It's still cancerous to fight. It's super toxic, like, it's a guaranteed hit, no doubt about it. That, and that's facts, you, no doubt about it. Nobody can change my mind, that is facts. It is a guaranteed hit when you're using Shadow Gun, most definitely. And then when you're fighting the person that knows the best time to use it, it becomes even more toxic to fight because it's just, he just knows the right time. And it's like, he doesn't want like, you're not really paying attention to. Like they use it in like a very sneaky way. So like, it's a guaranteed hit. So it's like, it's gonna hit you no matter what. You feel me? You just gonna have to take it. For the fifth spot we have is Fire Salt. Like, uh, another mantra when it's modified, it is crazy. Like. The three stratus stones, the three cloud stones, the three crystal lens, the three perfect lens. Just why? Just why should you just hit me every time when I'm nowhere near you? Like, it's like I have a better chance of not getting hit when I'm closer to you. It is insane. Like, I shouldn't have to be five feet away from you, 10 feet away from you. And should I shouldn't have to worry about parrying. I should be good. But I do have to parry, I do have to dodge. I gotta press extra buttons for no reason because you decided to put your stuff on steroids, why? Like, 
It's just like, bro, they gotta just reduce the scaling on a lot of stuff, man. Like, Jesus Christ, man. Like, these mantras, bro, are just out of hand. I promise you they are. Like, just why are they? Why? Like, we get it. Oh, you modified it to the point where it's gonna take all your ether. So the reward gotta be big when you use it. I don't care if it has to be. Stop modifying, like, stop making these mantras so big when it's modified. Like, it is honestly insane, like, how I have to fight against something so crazy like that. Like, it's such a pain to fight against. Like, bro, we gotta do something about it. Like, just nerf it to the ground. I hate, I just hate flame assault, bro. So, yeah, those are the five most toxic mantras in Deep Broken. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and have a nice day.